Hello, this is Geoffrey Frankel with Solutions in Chemistry. Today I'm going to deal with the topic of salt hydrolysis in IB Chemistry HL Paper 1. You can do these questions in 30 seconds or less. In this question, either you know immediately that sodium carbonate is alkaline or you don't, and you have to work it out. But sodium carbonate is alkaline. And in fact, you must know that. And this is the kind of question that should only take you 10 seconds or less. Take advantage of it. Clearly, you know sodium carbonate is alkaline, and therefore does not form an acidic solution in water. Just briefly, let me go through what the rules are for acidic solutions and alkaline solutions when it comes to salts. If you have a, a strong, if your salt consists of a strong alkali or base and a strong acid, acid, then that is a neutral salt, a neutral salt. If it has a weak alkali, a weak alkali, and a strong acid, it is acidic. If it has a strong alkali, and a weak acid, that is basic or alkaline, alkaline. Those are the simple rules. Now, in terms of the alkalis, a strong alkali, which you have to remember, alkali, sodium hydroxide, obviously, potassium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. You can assume all others, ammonia, ethylamine, etc., are weak alkalis. Unless the examiner tells you something different in the question. A strong acid, for your purposes, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. Those are the three strong acids you're expected to know. And if there's another acid, only if the examiner tells you something different, you assume all other acids are weak acids. So going back over this, we would say that that is a weak base. It's not in this list, a weak alkali. That is a strong, therefore that is acidic. Uh, that's a strong alkali. That's a weak acid, therefore it's alkaline. Iron hydroxide is a weak alkali. Hydrochloric acid is strong, that's acidic. Ammonia is a weak base, weak alkali. Nitric acid is strong, therefore it's acidic. Those are the simple rules, and some things you just have to remember. You just have to remember that sodium carbonate is basic, without having to work it out. So, having done the rules, we can work out which aqueous solution has a pH of less than 7. In other words, which aqueous solution is acidic. We know that's not acidic, it's neutral. We know that is has a pH greater than 7, it's basic. And here we come to the acidic one. Uh, this is one of those complexes you're expected to know that it is acidic. However, even if you didn't know that, you could go here and you'd find that this is clearly basic because it's a strong alkali and a weak organic acid. But this is one of those that you're expected to know is acidic. The other one you're expected to remember automatically is aluminium chloride. Those two you're expected to remember that they are acidic. Another question that should take you no more than 10 seconds. What you're looking for is the acidic solution. What is acidic? This is, must be it because there's strong acid and ammonia. That is acidic. This one would be neutral because its uh, ammonia is weak base and ethanoic acid is a weak acid. This is going to be basic. 
this is going to be neutral. So that is the only one which is acidic. Notice that the concentration of the solution doesn't affect whether it is basic, neutral or acidic. It may affect how much acidic it is or how much basic it is, but in general the concentration doesn't affect whether it's acidic, basic or neutral. Only the constituents of the salt determines that. This is a question with you've got a metal cation and you don't know anything about the base, whether it's strong or weak, although you can assume in the IB that if it's not sodium hydroxide, it's not potassium hydroxide, it's not barium hydroxide, you can assume that it's a weak base. However, which combination of characteristics will lead to the most acidic solution? You're expected to know that it's small size and high charge. Small size and high charge. So if you're given a, uh, a choice between two cations, the smaller cation will have the most acidic solution and the cation with the highest charge will have the most acidic solution. And I'm not going to go into the theory of that at this moment. This will come more in a paper two question where I'll deal more with the theory. Which salt dissolves in water to form an acidic solution? You quickly look through that and you come to ammonium chloride and you can say that immediately within 10 seconds because ammonia is a weak base, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. This one is an interesting one, it's potassium ethanoate, it's clearly going to be alkaline. Calcium ethanoate, it's going to be neutral because that calcium hydroxide is a weak base and ethanoic acid is a weak base. Sodium carbonate is of course alkaline. The answer is ammonium chloride is going to form an acidic solution. There are two ways of doing this one. Each of which should take you no more than 10, maybe 15 seconds. The first way is to look through each of them and decide, oh, that's going to be acidic. That will be acidic because this chromium hydroxide will be a weak base and that's uh, an acid, strong acid. Therefore, those one and two are definitely acidic and three is not acidic. It's basic. So it's one and two is the answer A. The alternative way of doing that is to look at this and see that this is not acidic. 3 cannot be within the answer. Cannot be B, cannot be C, and cannot be D. Therefore, it must be A. If you found this YouTube video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and look at my other videos. Thank you.